Under the world, they chitter and plan. Watching. Waiting. When they emerge, it is a nightmare vision. The Skaven, a ravenous horde of verminous ratmen. They gnaw at the roots of the world like an infected wound. They mean to rule over ruins, for such is the will of their god, the great horned rat. Only the island home of the High Elves has remained unscathed. And at its center is the Great Vortex. A swirling maelstrom that siphons chaos from the world. The Skaven covered its vast power with envious, beady red eyes. The twin-tailed comet is oft seen as an omen, but this time its wake has disturbed the winds of magic. In the secret halls of the Under Empire, the Council of Thirteen has gathered. A time to scheme of opportunity. I kill dwarf things in Pillar City. No, no! Clan Moors go to Southlands. Hunt for Warpstone. Moors are puppet minion. Pestilence infest Lustria. Yes, yes! But all Warpstone for Council Plan! Come, scribe slave. Work to do. Comet makes elf things weak. Council wants power of the vortex. <laughs> Just as prophecy demands. <laughs> so it true. You read markings on the black pillar. <laughs> then you know we must seek find the screaming one. Find out how to control the vortex. Oh, oh yes, master. But, but a large tribute of warp stone will that demon require if, if we summon him. <laughs> Return to your assigned clan. Harvest warp stone. Yes, most precipitous of masters. And flay yourself, your impertinence. Oh, it will be done, your worship. Jewel enacted, the skies over the world shatter, exciting the Grey Seer while his scribe cowered, for he knew their next destination. Deep in the fetid jungle swamplands was the lair of the Screaming One, summoned to this plane by the ritual. Not risking his whiskers, the master sent his minion into the lair. Within, the vermin lord awaited. The screaming one spoke of the vortex at the heart of the elf thing's island continent. It was vulnerable due to the comet's passing, ripe for Skaven interference. An engine of doom and curses must be constructed and empowered by four more rituals. The Vortex will be bound to this machine on completion of the final ritual, giving Skaven untold power. The Screaming One granted the lowly scribe an object encased in iron. The scribe eyed it greedily, 
but the demon demanded the gift handed to Grace Seer Valskreek. And a final gift, rituals of fabrication to build the machine. The scribe's adopted clan would begin construction at once. But warp stone is needed to power the rituals, and False Creek already grows impatient. And so construction began on a device to dominate the vortex. Warp stone enhanced lumber was required and the gnawing of rats provided it. The Grey Seer was pleased and raced back to Skaven Blight to report on his accomplishment. revealed a new location. It was in Lustrian swamps the Grey Seer sent his minions next. Under the dank, fetid surface, did they find Sotek cursed bones to lash upon the machine. The Council sends reports that other powers seek control of the Vortex. The race is on. Upon the Grey Seer's orders, did the scribe visit the laboratories of Clan Mulder to secure strong specimens enhanced by the ritual for the labors ahead. Construction continues, but Skaven Blight is strangely silent. Are our lords fully apprised of Valskreek's plan? Onto the device of doom and curses. Yes, yes. But I have studied the voice, not, not, not for controlling vortex. Ah. Finally, you see the truth. A different purpose it has. The fabric of reality was torn. And, from the realm of ruin, the Skaven's horned god visited its creatures. Clever child, it whispered with the voice of a thousand screeching rats. The celestial event that weakened the Vortex was of Skaven design. A parody of the true comet. The Council of Thirteen were architects of this grand manipulation. They ordered the devious contraption built. Its task complete and fuel expended, the rocket fell back to the surface. When the wreckage was discovered, its purpose remained unclear until now. It was the catalyst to weaken the Vortex and goad the other races into action. Every ritual cast, the magic was stolen, absorbed into the Horned Rat's bell. 
now soaked in ritual power. The bell will be placed in its great carriage, made by the claws of the scribe's clan, and moved to Ulthuan's heart. If it tolls thirteen times, the horned god shall emerge from the vortex. But there is a cost. The sacrifice of an entire clan. The horned god demands the chosen are made ready. <laughs> the horned one has spoken! And your clan will be fed to him. <laughs> you betray this clan. No, no. This was Council's desire all along. See, gift. A bell clapper given to me. And whichever clan has their blood spilt on it when the bell tolls will be sacrificed. Tell your lord, spill blood here. No, no! Tell him! Tell him! Tell him! Tell him! <laughs> ah, Council will stop ritual. Send many clans. <sighs> Grace the clan. Give their souls. Now we are horned rats favored. Yes, yes. The Skaven are on the brink of summoning forth their horned god through the vortex. It is the powerful Grey Seer clan that have been marked for the blood sacrifice. The souls the great horned rat must consume to walk amongst us. The Council of Thirteen, of which the Grey Seer clan are most prominent, send their hordes against you, desperate to wrest the infernal machine from your clutches. Other races sense their doom is coming, and all converge on the Isle of the Dead. The greatest battle of our age is about to begin. So, the Vortex is now yours, a gateway to many hells, and the throne of a god. He comes! Our clan at his side! I am at his side. But the war is not over. The other races will fight on. Bring ruin in the Horned Rat's name, or face his wrath. <laughs> 